not Lerato Khanyaro and her husband Tamin Lala playing us, you guys. Hi, SR Squad. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share this video. Guys, before we get into it, can we just talk about Lerato Khanyaro's beauty? Because I just feel like I saw her for the first time, okay? Lerato Khanyaro was invited at Wow What a Week podcast, you know, that is hosted by Fresh, by DJ Fresh rather and guys i just feel like i'm seeing Lerato Khanyaro for the first time her voice her beauty she, like she just blew me away okay but anyway let me get into it Lerato Khanyaro spoke about a lot of um a lot of stuff about her life she opened up about a lot of stuff about her mother her parents rather um her friendships you know growing up childhood traumas and all but i will be touching on few things so Lerato Khanyaro says that when they released a statement that um they are no longer together or her marriage ended was because she just wanted the focus to shift you know because she didn't like it when people speak ill about her husband about her marriage so like they had no choice so they sat down um she sat down with her husband and talked about this but unfortunately it's still like backfired even after trying to protect their marriage it's still back fired it didn't work okay so meaning that like they have never separated according to her another thing is that like she never thought she would get married ever in her life you guys that she said that she knew her husband for the longest time like for years he she knew him for years and they started dating like two months after two months that's when they got married Rato Hanyao says that her husband had gold tooth you guys and she did not like that because even when she's on radio she would always say that she would never get married to someone with gold teeth so she had to like tell her husband to take off his six gold truth okay before she could introduce him to her parents and and her friends another thing Lerato Khanyaro spoke about that I feel like we are not talking about it enough as black people is childhood traumas like every time you would try to talk about it with your parents just to let them know that what they did in 1980 and it made you feel like less of a person and they would feel like you are attacking them like okay but anyway let's talk about Lerato Khanyaro Lerato Khanyaro says that she grew up as the only child at home everything was okay like her mom was a nurse she is still a nurse but she is going to be retiring very soon next month i think she said next month Lerato Khanyaro feels like her parents never stood up for her especially her mother she says that even now like her mom is still like that especially when it comes to like praising her especially when she achieved something her mom would just like keep quiet Lerato says that not so long ago her mom was praising another celebrity for achieving like for getting some awards and she was like to her mom mom do you know that i got the same award and her mom was like no i don't know and she was like but i told you Lerato says that growing up she was never an a student and she felt like she disappointed her parents and and there was this other lady um at her home area that was doing like a military stuff i don't know what the what, what are they called and every time when she passes holding that um trolley bag whatever like her parents would like praise that lady so much that Lerato felt like okay maybe if i do it as well my parents are going to be happy so she joined the military and still like it made her feel so miserable and that was just not enough also especially for her mother anyway as our squad do comment down below and let me know what do you think about this i know most people most of us or almost everyone do have like some childhood traumas here and there